In this video, the land looks at the process of how to get the most out of cattle from induction through backgrounding and the feedlot so they can perform to their genetic potential. These are the receival yards. The cattle stay here for up to 24 hours maximum. These cattle have travelled overnight from Narra Court and they've been through rehydration halfway through their trip and then they've arrived here so we can observe, rest and then these will go into an induction treatment within... within. After a hundred days plus of backgrounding preconditioning, handling, all the treatments, these cattle are ready to go head to the feedlot. As you can see they've handled well, quite, nearly stress free and this is the uh, culmination of our work on the farm here. They then go to the feedlot for a further 100 days and the same uh, handling techniques are used so we end up with an extremely good article at the end. The cattle come off the truck into the receival pens, have a quick look at their new surroundings and then go straight onto the available feed. Okay, well what we're looking at here is um, some Angus steers that have come from uh, Paradise. Uh, they're eight days on feed. Um, I guess the feature of what we're, we're trying to achieve is, is uh, low stress feeding of cattle. That all starts at, you know, back on farm level with weaning and preconditioning prior to coming to us on the sundown properties. So we're looking for cattle to be able to come into the feedlot, go on to feed within an hour or two uh, of arrival. We, uh, we ensure they go on to hay and water at the receivable pens before that. And uh, we, we're looking for the benefits of co-mingling that's coming from yard weaning and also um, running the cattle in feedlot ready pens for sort of 40 days prior to coming into the feedlot. The end result is quiet cattle that don't stress, eat well and gain weight.